So we're, we're selling shares in our, in our uh, operating company, much as a startup would. Um, also our growth plan, uh, you know, we're, we have our second location now under development in the Catskills Mountains of New York, just about two hours from New York City. We're just now starting to circle commitments uh, for that property level investment as a commercial real estate uh, fundraise would go as well. So we'll have an outside pool of investors for that larger um, property level investment. And, and that's what it initially you know, took us to uh, the crowdfunding uh, real estate world is, hey, we've got to raise a couple million for our second location to close on the property, to buy the dirt um, and to, uh, to undergo the actual construction. And which is what brought me to, uh, you know, the real estate crowdfunding world. And we definitely didn't fit in. You know, we are a not a cookie cutter, um, you know, straight up uh, commercial real estate um, project and its hospitality. Um, so we weren't, you know, obviously a good fit for that, um, which is why I then came across WeFunder. But, you know, I don't, I don't think there's anything actually precluding um, a commercial real estate project from you know going through a platform like WeFunder, but a, a WeFunder and um, the more startup focused platforms are more focused on companies that are selling equity in their brand rather than a project specific uh, you know real estate focused project like uh, like CrowdStreet.